I'm here today with the American Lung Association. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and to talk with me about it is Christina Hamilton, the ALA Director of Advocacy in Illinois, and John Anderson, a local survivor of lung, lung cancer. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So John, can you share your experience when you received your diagnosis and how it impacted your life? Yes, I sure can. I went in um, back in 2013 for a shoulder injury and um, come to find out they found a mass in my left lung. Um, it was really aggressive. I um, had um, my left lung removed because it was that aggressive, but it came back in my only right lung. So I took medication to no avail, chemotherapy, no avail, but they sent my um, specimen in to be tested and I was a candidate for biomarker testing and they gave me a medication that um, puts me here right now. <laughs> without the medication, without the research for American Lung Association, World Health Organization, CDC, all those guys together, I would not be here. Well, but we because are of the research and the American Lung Association, I'm here today, young lady. Well, we are so glad you are here. And so, John, how did your battle kind of motivate you to really want to raise awareness about lung cancer? And what message do you have for people watching? Well, the battle was, you know, it, it affects your family, your finances, your um, social life, your diet. I mean, everything. And I just wanted to get involved, especially with this young lady, and just share my message. I didn't want any people to to know that it's possible to get screened, which is the most important thing, get screened, please, and that there is hope because research is now awesome. The research is awesome. And I'm here because of the, because of that. And I wanna tell people just, don't be afraid to ask questions. Any question and any question once you're diagnosed to see the best way for your doctor to treat you. But biomarker testing is, it has helped me. Absolutely. And Christina, how important is it for people to get these lung screenings and how can these help improve the outcomes for patients? So if for individuals who have a smoking history and are over the age of 50, they are typically at higher risk for lung cancer. So they should certainly reach out to the American Lung Association and find out if they're eligible for screening. So that's a high category, but there are people who don't have that high risk history can also develop lung cancer. So if you have a persistent cough, a hoarseness, chest pain, then you should also talk to your healthcare provider. So we have a helpline. It's ALA, I'm sorry, it's 844-ALA-LUNG that you can call. And then we also have a website, lung.org slash LCS dash assistance. Mm -hmm. And you can reach out to those two resources to see if you're eligible for screening. Um, we do need a lot of awareness. There's over 560,000 people right. that are eligible for screening right now, just in the state of Illinois. So it's really important you know, to get that awareness out there so that people can get screened because early detection really does um, improve outcomes. We see people yes. living longer like John with lung cancer because they're able to, to catch it earlier. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today to talk with me. I'll have everything linked on newschannel20.com so you guys can get those screenings done. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.